What's going on everybody? It's Cool Fury. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video, 100 with Cool Fury. So you see the title on this one and this is the two year update on this Harlem Bling jewelry. Okay, so there's other pieces I could have included in this video, but I'm just going to focus on the main pieces that you will see me wear in the videos. The other pieces are fine as well, but um, everybody knows that the jewelry with the stones in it, you know, and the, like the chains and stuff, that's going to be the most popular stuff. So just going to keep it on that. Um, I got a bunch of other jewelry in my jewelry box, but I don't feel like pulling out all that stuff. Just going to get to the main things that people will want to know about, uh, like especially with the watch and everything. So this watch, this is a 15 karat Moise Night watch, and it hasn't been two years just yet. But I got that watch in like September, October of 22. So we're uh, we're almost there to two years. So I'll, I'll include it in that um that two year, you know, update sort of um, thing. So I'll, I'll start with the watch. I mean, this watch, and I just want to say this, this jewelry I have here with stones in it, there's absolutely no stones missing on any of it. Over the past like couple of years, I've worn this watch a lot and I don't have any missing stones. Still works just fine. The date still works just fine. Like I said, no stones missing. Still looks good. I washed this thing off in the sink over here with Dawn Dish Liquid. That's how I clean it. And it still looks good. You know, so if you're a person that is interested in buying jewelry from places like Harlem Bling and, you know, this is a review for you. I know everybody doesn't like Harlem Bling, but, you know, um, I was an affiliate with them. I don't think they're doing their affiliate program anymore. So I'll be honest with you, man. If I'm not getting paid, I'm not going to feel compelled to make videos about you know their products all the time but I do still buy from them because I think they have decent quality and I haven't had any issues with anything and I actually bought my little daughter some earrings from Harlem Bling this year so some um five care moisture night earrings and they look great they're doing fine so yeah I got a lot of hate about this watch and honestly for the haters, here's the thing for all you haters out there that don't know that there's jewelry besides gold and diamonds. Look, man, if you don't like jewelry like this, I will suggest you skip to another video. Just don't even watch. This type of jewelry is for people that want to wear silver and are open to wearing stones that are not diamonds, right? There's more metals than gold in the world and there's more stones than diamonds. There's diamond alternatives like moisten like, like this watch. Might be the best diamond alternative you can get. There's CZ, there's sapphires there's other gemstones there's still gemstones they're real gemstones they're just not diamonds silver is a real precious metal it's just not gold so some of you guys are kind of caught in that trap where you feel like if jewelry isn't gold and diamonds it's not real jewelry and i'm, I'm not even gonna argue with you guys a lot of you guys watch videos like this and you don't even own jewelry yourself, you know? So 
I don't even know why a lot of you watch because you know, I'm talking about you haters. I don't know why a lot of you guys watch videos like this because you don't even wear the jewelry yourself. But I, I have a suspicion that some of you actually like jewelry like this, but you're scared to wear it yourself because you're scared of what people might think. I don't care about what people think. Obviously, you've seen my face here on YouTube making reviews and telling you that I wear this jewelry. So I don't care what anybody has to say, but I think a lot of you do. So that's a suspicion of mine as well. And then there's those of you that are just trolls, you know. You hate on jewelry like this. You call it fake, even though you don't know what you're talking about. But then you go on Pornhub and jerk off to girls with fake body parts. Make it make sense to me. But anyway. So anyway, I just talked about the watch. Um, I just showed you the cross. This is a 925 silver cross with moissanite stones. No stones missing. Still has a great shine on it. Looks good. Get plenty of compliments on it. You can see there's some little scratches back here a little bit, but that's to be expected when you're wearing jewelry. Still looks good. Um, no stones missing. Still like that piece. Um, let's talk about this chain. This is a six millimeter, 26 inch silver rope chain, and it's doing great. It's held up good. Haven't had any issues with the clasp on it. Got some scratches on there. Again, to be expected. When you wear the jewelry, there's going to be scratches. You can see that. So it is what it is. But it's still nice. I usually, um, this is what I wear when I wear the, uh, the cross. I put the cross on this chain. So we're gonna, let's talk about something CZ. Um, this CZ bracelet. This 925 silver bracelet with CZ stones. No stones missing. It shines good. It doesn't shine quite as well as the moissanite stones, but kind of got kinked up on me there. Hold on. It doesn't shine as nice as the moissanite stuff, but it does shine. It's held up. Haven't had any problems with it. It's been worn quite a bit over the past year, or excuse me, like it's almost, actually, it's actually almost been three years with this one. So over the past two years plus, it's been worn quite a bit. It still looks good. And, you know, there you have it. It was like 80 something dollars when I bought it. I don't know how much they cost now, but yeah. Nice bracelet there. Um, I got this chain here that I wear with other pendants. This is doing fine. This is a four millimeter chain. So I like to have a bigger one and a small one. So this is the four millimeter. I wear that with this pendant a lot. I really won't talk about this pendant too much in this video just because I haven't had this for two years. I got this several months ago around the time of my uh, birthday. You know, I started a junk removal business. I, I talked about that in a, a video I made a while back and um, I wanted the CEO pendant so my wife got this for me. This is actually CZ. You see them on stones on the sides, what the back looks like. This is CZ. They don't even have this in Moissanite on the site. It was like 160 bucks for this. 925 silver with CZ. 
Still looks good, of course, because it's only been a few months. Probably been like six, seven months, something like that. So I'll talk about that more once I have some more time with it. But um, I'll just stay focused on this stuff for now. Now, as far as like gold plated stuff, over time, we got some fading going on. So let you see that. As you can see, this side is a little bit different from this side. And I think that's because when, when I'm wearing it, this is the part that's rubbing up against my clothes. So this is where like most of the fading is happening. And then I got some fading on this part as well. Still looks nice, but gold plated items. This is 925 silver with gold plating. So they call that vermeil, vermeil, whatever it's called. It still looks decent. Um, structurally, it's held up, but it does have some fading. And I think the color is, there's a little bit of fading going on in this chain as well. Um, but the chain still, the chain I think is holding up better as far as fading than the um, pendant. The chain is uh, it's doing real well, but again, can't expect something that's gold plated to just keep the same color forever. Although this is maintaining color pretty well, I would say. Here, I want to show you something that gets touched a lot on this. If I can get my camera to focus here. Yeah. I mean, it still looks good. And this area gets touched all the time, obviously. The clasp still looks pretty good. Slight bit of fading. I don't really expect you to notice that in this video. I notice it because I wear the chain, but it still looks good. Um, this might be one of those things where I'm not sure if it's been exactly two years. It might be close, something like that, but it's doing pretty well, but there is some fading. So I have to be transparent on that. That's to be expected, but still looks decent, decent enough for me to wear it. I'll let you know when it's all the way faded out. This is a Moissanite um, pinky ring that I wear. No stones missing. Still looks really good. Got some scratches on it. You see that on the side there. And then there's some scratches here. Some guy in the mall was trying to sell me some polish and he actually, um, it, would, it cost way too much for a small bottle. I didn't buy it, but he actually did polish this part up a little bit. So it's shinier than it was. It was actually kind of dull just from all the scratches and coming in contact with different surfaces. So you got to expect that when you wear your jewelry. But as for the stones, no stones are missing. And it, you know, it's just, it's still a nice piece even with the scratches on it. We talk about this ring. This is a ring, nugget ring. Got a little bit of moissanite there in the middle. As you can see, those stones, no stones missing. And this ring on the bottom side, this is more dull than that other ring. When the guy um, did his demonstration, he did it on the other ring and not this one. But, you know, I'll just find a polish for a decent price probably online and I'll um I'll polish that. But yeah, overall this jewelry man is held up. Um it still looks good after a couple of years. All the haters uh had haters saying, oh don't get that watch wet. Well I wash it with Don Dish liquid in warm water so it gets wet often because that's how I clean it. It's held up. It looks good. And the whole reason for putting stones in jewelry to begin with is to make the jewelry sparkle. 
and you can have sparkling jewelry for for you know a lot less than tens of thousands of dollars so all you haters man most of you don't have gold or diamonds anyway so like i said i don't know why you comment on videos like this but since you do watch and comment on videos like this i just want to shout you out and talk about you people call individuals that wear jewelry like this broke but honestly most of you in the comments that comment negative things like that you guys are broke i know what i got going on i don't like to invest too much money into jewelry i like to invest more like where i live and that's why i live in a nice house and the mortgage is not cheap because we all know what real estate costs right now so I don't mind paying the mortgage every month. That's fine with me, even though it's expensive, but I would definitely have an issue paying too much money for jewelry. So that's why I get this kind of jewelry to begin with. It's made of silver, which is a precious metal, and the stones are a diamond alternative. <laughs>